Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do a quick and easy little graduation craft. So what we're going to make today are these little diplomas and I'm making these as an ornament for my office holiday tree. So I work at a university, so graduation is kind of a major event. And so a coworker and I decided that the next thing we want our holiday tree to be is a graduation tree. So something I wanted to put on as ornaments are some little diplomas. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so for this craft, we're going to need some felt, a quilting ruler, a rotary cutter, a needle and thread, and some ribbon. So first let's grab our felt. Okay, so I picked up this felt at Joanne today. Um, I chose this off-white color because my tree is white, and so I thought if I picked white felt, it would kind of blend in too much with the tree, but you could pick whatever color you want. Um, so this is just standard craft felt. I've already cut a piece out of this one, so let's start with that one. And so I'm going to cut this into three inch by three inch squares. And to do that, I'm gonna use my quilting ruler and rotary cutter. I just find that's the easiest and quickest way to cut accurate measurements into your fabric, especially if you're just cutting straight lines. Um, however, you could do this with scissors. Okay, and there's my strip. And then I'm gonna cut this into three inches again. And so you can see here that I'm lining the edge of my felt up with this three inch line here. And then I just cut along this edge with the rotary cutter. And when you're using a rotary, rotary cutter, always cut away from yourself just to avoid slipping and cutting yourself. And I'll go ahead and cut this whole piece up. And this felt I believe it's nine inches by 12 inches, so it should cut perfectly into little three inch squares. Okay, so next I'm going to take one piece of my felt, one three by three inch square. And for this section, I'm going to need some thread as well. So I'm gonna grab my thread. I'm using a quilting thread or a hand quilting thread, partly because it's just what was close to me at the time when I started this project and because it's nice and strong. So I think it's gonna hold my diplomas together really well. So I am just gonna take my three by three inch square and start rolling it up. And I'm not gonna roll it too tight because you know a diploma is just a single sheet of paper. Once it's rolled up, it can't get too thick, I guess. So I want it to be kind of a loose roll. And then when I roll it up, I'm gonna stitch it together so it doesn't unravel when I'm doing my next step. So I'm gonna grab my needle and I'm just gonna start this now because I want to end, I want to hide my needle or my thread end inside the roll. So what I'm gonna do before I finish it, finish rolling it up is put my needle in going from the inside to the out just in the middle of my felt and then I'll finish rolling. And I'm gonna try and hide this end down here. And I've just got a knot in the end of my thread. Okay. And so there is my rolled up diploma, super simple, with my thread coming out. And then I'm just gonna tack it to the rest of the roll. I'll probably do a couple stitches here. I'm not doing too many stitches because I don't want it to like pucker the fabric at all and I'm not doing it too tight either and then to tie a knot you just put your needle underneath the stitches you've already made pull it through make sure you leave a loop enough of a loop here to put your needle through that loop and then pull it tight I'm going to do two knots just to keep it nice and secure okay and then to hide the end of my thread, I'm just going to tuck it back in underneath. So I'm inserting my needle right near where my stitches are, going a little ways underneath my felt and then kind of squishing it together so that, oops, sorry, my loop's getting caught on the end of my little diploma here. So then once I've pulled it up a little ways from the knot, I'm gonna pull it really tight and then cut it close to the edge of the fabric. And then when I pull it tight, my end of my thread is inside the diploma. Okay, so there is that. 
And you, if you are more careful in the next step where we're gonna tie a ribbon on here, you don't necessarily have to stitch this. Just since I'm gonna use these on my tree and I wanna be able to use them year after year, I thought they'd hold together better if I put a little stitch in it. All right, so the next step of the diploma making is to put our ribbon on. So we're just gonna tie it with a nice little bow. Um, the colors of my university are green and gold. So I've got a green and yellow ribbon. This is a 1 8 inch ribbon. You could do a thicker ribbon. It's just whatever you like. I wouldn't do it too thick. I think that would look too big with the diploma. Of course, you could scale up your diploma as well. So I've got a 1 8 inch ribbon. I just have a roll of each of the green and the gold. And I think I'm going to do a green right now. And so I'm not great at tying tiny little bows. So I've been cutting a fairly long piece of ribbon just so I don't have to work with such a small, short little piece. So what I'm gonna do is just wrap it around the middle and then I'm gonna make sure when I tie this ribbon, I am going to cover up my stitches here. And so first things first, I'm going to just loop one end over the other and tie sort of a knot. And again, don't tie too tight because you don't want to really squish your diploma. You don't want it to look like that. You want it to be fairly loose. So I'm gonna loosen that back up. Okay, about like that. And it can cinch it just a little bit. I think that looks good, but you don't wanna make it too tight. Okay, and then I'm just gonna tie a regular bow, again with really long ends because I think this is, <laughs> this is tricky. <laughs> And so there is my bow, my diploma's all tied up, and then I am going to snip the edges, or the ends of my ribbon so they're not so long. And here, if you wanted to, you could put just a little dab of glue on these ends to make sure they don't fray. I think that they're gonna be okay. I'll see how they are after this year once they've been handled a little bit, and maybe I'll go back and tap some, rip, some glue on there. But if you're worried about your ribbon fraying, now would be a good time to put just a little bit of fray check or glue or whatever you want to do to uh, seal your ends of your ribbon. All right, so there is our mini diploma. Um, you could just be done here um, and use it as like a little table scatter or something like that. However, since I'm gonna make mine into an ornament for my tree, I'm gonna add a hanger to mine. So I decided that the cutest way that these will hang on my tree is if they kind of hang by the ribbon, sort of like this. So what I'm gonna do is tie or add a hanger to the bow itself. So what I'm gonna do, and this is also gonna help me secure this bow, I'm going to grab my needle. I've got it threaded with a single strand of quilting thread and I'm gonna go up underneath the bow and insert my needle through the whole Thing. and try not to untie your bow at this point. Um, just be careful what you're doing. And then now I've got my one piece of thread through it. I'm gonna take my needle off and then tie a knot. Oops, sorry, I'm losing these threads as I'm talking. Then you tie a knot at the end. The way I like to tie a knot is I just wrap the thread around my finger and then roll it off and then pull it tight and you should end up with a little knot there. And so what I'm gonna do now is pull that knot down to the bottom so it's underneath my bow. You don't have to do this. And I also wanted to do it this way with this white thread because then it will be more hidden in my tree. You won't really be able to see this white thread. You'll just see the little diplomas hanging there. And so I think that turns out really cute. I think these are gonna look so good on my tree um, they're perfect for graduation, and I think they're just really fun. So that is it for my diploma ornaments. I hope you enjoyed this little video, and you come back to see what I do next.